Hey Plancy friends, welcome back to another new video. I don't know, I feel like my intros are so aggressive, but today we're gonna go and do some plant chores. So come and join me and let's water some plants. I'm also going to be cleaning the apartments because I want to get it ready. I'm going to be filming a couple of videos today, like that's my goal. I always say that and I kind of like struggle to like get it done. But today I want to really, really try to get all these things that I planned out to get done. So I want to go and like I said, clean the apartment and I want to like film it as well. Because I feel like that's really, really fun and I just love watching people like doing plant choice on YouTube. I don't know why. I also like watching them clean their apartment. So like, this is like a two in one. <laughs> By the way, if you are new, hi, my name is David. And on this channel, we upload a lot of plant stuff. I wouldn't say plant shopping videos because like that's li literally what we post a lot but i'm trying to step away from plant shopping videos because like i'm not trying to get in trouble i don't know i don't, I don't even know if i have permission to film as well to be honest so yeah <laughs> Alrighty, with any further ado let's go do some plant chores slash cleaning the apartment Alrighty, so this is apartment as of now she is pretty messy. This is a kitchen. And <laughs> you guys, this is real life, okay? And honestly, I'm debating on moving the entire living room. I don't know, I, I feel like I want to, but I don't know if I do. I do wanna like maybe put this table over there. I'm not so sure. Honestly, I might not, cause like, it's just, that's a whole different thing. And the way it looks right now is pretty, pretty good. And I just love how this is becoming an actual tree, which it is literally a tree. It's called a money tree. And it's one of my most viewed videos on how to care for this girly. But y'all, it's like getting so big and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> oh my God, imagine when it gets like super big. <laughs> so excited. I mean, I'm like, I'm excited Delicio, so we're just having a little bit of problems. Uh, I don't know. And then like also, she's been in that pot for years, like years. And look at these air roots. Also, my peace lily is starting to bloom, you guys. I'm so excited. Also, this wants to be some cat hairs. My girly is all over the place. Now, there are some poisonous plants in here, which, you know, it's not a good thing, but my cat, for some reason, she doesn't like to chew on my plants. She loves to rub her entire fur and body on the plants, but never, the only plants that she like, that she likes to bite was the cat grass that I bought her a while back. And maybe she does like look, like, let's see what she's doing. Girl, what is you doing, mama? <laughs> I love you, girly girl. Cause like, for some reason, I'm starting to like get more into like, making sure she doesn't chew on the plants and she likes to like smell them a lot yeah so also the plant room is dirty as you know as it is so i'm gonna go and vacuum it up i am i was bottom watering my neon potos because she needed some water but now she parked up and you guys this is a beautiful sable blue oh my god like it's ice i always said like i said but here's the other one that i have this one's three years old i have propagated this girly so many times and as you guys can see she gets up like a good amount of light compared to this one since this one you can you know this one's a little bit more greener a lot more healthier and bushier but yeah and i mean give me credit a little bit because this girly has been i'm not in that pot but she's i had her for almost three years so i think she looks pretty pretty good and then this is the other one that it looks like I bought it from, you know, like the way it is right now. But I, this is the one that I was propagating a while back. And since I placed it on these grow lights, she has been flushing out growth like crazy. And I will, you know, need to go and propagate her even more because I want to take more cuttings. I bought some pots that I want to go and propagate some plants. I, do, I am propagating some feather giant micans and I don't see a lot of moisture happening. So I'm gonna make sure that it's closed nicely because I will be selling some cuttings. And I'm also propagating the other plants. I'm propagating some marantas or prayer plants, the money, um, Chinese money plants, Arizonii and the golden goddess philodendron, which we're becoming as experiments and they don't look so hot right now. So obviously if they don't work out, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss them out, but I'm hopeful. And yeah, and, oh, okay. See, that looks really, really bad, but as you can see over here, there is a new leaf developing. So that's a good sign. Also, I noticed that these Arizona eyes propagate like crazy. Like I said, I always reuse these pots. I have like a bunch in the closet. And here's an update on the mango plant. Doing super good. Starting to put out her new leaves. And let me see. I also finished cleaning the entire closet because she was a mess. So I have my containers over here. I always save these up. Cause I like to use them and I have all of my pots in here. Uh, but that's basically in the closet. 
and that's pretty much it that I want to give you guys a little bit of updates on. Amaranthos are starting to bloom, which is so much fun. And here's the other one. It's crazy how like they're both blooming, at least one flower. And the golden goddess philodendron. She wasn't putting out lots of growth, but as soon as I watered her, I ended up bottom watering her. She's starting to put out this, which is a shoot. And in here as well. So cannot wait for that. And yeah, that's just what's going on in the plant realm. Super, super excited to do a houseplant tour. So let's go and set this up and start cleaning. I might just clean in the, this is the bedroom. It's a mess as well. Yeah, I think I just already showed you guys all of it. So I might start in the kitchen, to be honest, and move on forward. done cleaning the apartment well almost i gotta go and mop the floors but everything is looking pretty good I'm trying to get that to focus but it's kind of difficult also i decided to wash my sheets because it was time already Alrighty, i'm gonna go drink a little bit of some coffee and then mop the floors and see what i gotta do next because i feel like i oh also i said i was gonna water some plants but i feel like i already watered a lot of them last night I just gotta water both of these two. I wanna bottom water the Siva Blue and this Polka Little Begonia because I feel like they would appreciate a good, you know, bottom watering session with some fertilizer. And what else do I gotta see? Oh, I also gotta water those containers. So we're gonna do that in a bit. But like I said, everything else is looking pretty good. This is the purple passion plant that I was talking about in that plant shopping video. It's like starting to kind of trail. So. I don't know, I might give it a su some support or I might just propagate it. Cause why not? <laughs> this is a new plant, I think I already showed y'all, but two reasons why I got it. I don't even know about this plant, but it said Hoya. And then I love its leaves. It's so beautiful. I, I think I showed you other prices, I'm not so sure. But it's for 13 something. 13 and 98 at Lowe's. And I'm debating on going to another Lowe's and going to plant shopping again. Even though I really like scheduled some content, not scheduled, but like planned out some content throughout this month. I feel like, you know, I just, I want to go plant shopping again. I want to see what they have. Like a lot of these stores are having so many amazing plants. And I just answered to a new group chat on Facebook and not group chat, but like a group page, I guess you can say. Yeah, it's called a group page. And you guys, like a lot of people are showing like some amazing finds. Ooh, this big one needs water. The way that I know is because it's very light and the leaves are not so firm. So that's when I know that it needs a good... I'm trying to look for those. <laughs> that's when I know that it needs some water. I also want to divide that starfish Sansevieria and there's some cat hairs. My cat is just crazy. I think she's over here. No, she's not. And I also want to divide this aloe vera. I don't know when, but I want to divide it whenever i have some terracotta pots and even then honestly i'm just going to use these plastic containers transina lemon lime transina that's what it's called i need some water it looks like it's burning a little bit so i'm going to pull it out the watermelon pepperoni looks really really good though i've always struggled with this one and it doesn't look that good but i always kill them <laughs> So I'm trying to stay on top of this one. It's not a propagation update video, but I just want to see what is going on in this container. It's just out of, ooh, just out of curiosity. Mm. Don't give me what about this. I just placed these yesterday, not yesterday. Oh my God, what am I saying? It, yeah, I see a little small root. I placed these a while back. That is turning brown, so I hope it's not gonna rot. But I'll place it back inside. I ended up, you know, taking a lot of cuttings from my Poca de Begonia. Poca de Begonia. From my Begonia, the one that we're gonna water in a bit. And they're all in here and in those with that container as well. So, that's on that. 
Hey, fancy friends. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to be talking. Like, this was, it's, I just finished posting a brand new video on YouTube, and this video is gonna go up tomorrow. But I just finished, uh, like I said, filming, I mean, editing that video, and I was gonna go and watch some plant content while filming for this video as well and cleaning some house plants because that's what we're gonna do after this clip. And you guys, guess what I found at Walmart? Like, I'm so shocked. <laughs> This beautiful ficus, like look at that. And I only got <laughs> it was only for fourteen ninety seven. I'm just so shocked because a lot of people on Facebook have found this plant, and I was just like, oh my god, I just I cannot like that's beyond me right now. And the fact that they're selling it, I guess like I want to see it so bad. And I literally saw this one, and they had the other one that's like a little bit more red variegated. Mike has literally rubbing her body on the shelves. <laughs> but they had like six of these and they only had one of the, of the red one. And I wanted to get it, but then I was like, I already have it. And I'm trying not to spend so much money on plants. Like I'm trying to like discipline myself kind of. And like, not, I don't even know what the term is called, but I'm not, I'm not trying to like go crazy like I used to back then. <laughs> but this is, oh my God, this made my entire day. And I'm just, I love it so much. Like it's really, really beautiful. And my boyfriend got it for me. Like, I love him so much. I think it's so cute. Like, oh my god. By the way, our anniversary was like, when was it? Like, three? Two days ago. But, uh, yeah, our anniversary was two days ago. And we've been together for two years. So, yeah. I don't see no ring yet. I'm kidding. No, but, like, y'all. Like, do y'all see this? It's so cute. It's so freaking cute. The sad thing is, they had other ones, but they didn't look so hot. Uh, but, yeah. Like, this is beautiful so go to your local walmart and see what they have because two days ago what was it it was yesterday yeah it was yesterday we found a cebu blue we found three cebu blues at one walmart and then we went to the other walmart today and i just found i think it's called a tiniki it's, it's a ficus but now we found this girly and they had the red one ah it's it's crazy you guys like these big box stores are really really stepping it up and this is not from coastal farm is it it's called Rocket Farms Inc. But I just wanted to share this moment with you, with you guys. Already fancy friends. Also, please ignore the blinds. Um, it looks really ghetto. And it's because <laughs> I don't want nobody looking inside. Since like literally anybody can see inside through this bedroom. But um, yeah, so as of now, I'm gonna go ahead and get these plants that need a little bit of cleaning. And this one's gonna be here. I really wish I can have like a mic so I can like speak in the audio quality it's not as bad as right now because I'm pretty sure it don't sound so good right now. But I'm gonna go like clean some of these calatheas that I have in here because they've been doing really really good but they haven't been cleaned for a while so a lot of the old leaves are not looking so hot. This one has a better some of the saucer. And then my golden monster collectius right over here. Girl. So we got a couple to clean. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Because I wanna show you at the same time. That entire group of plants. Those are the plants that we're gonna go out and clean. As of now. Because I know there's a couple more that need a little bit of not TLC, but a little bit of like grooming. Keep plenty friends so we just finished cleaning up some plants they look a lot better i ended up cleaning my feather leaf calathea this really beautiful other calathea and my trust estramanti is my biggest one and my two little smallest ones my golden mosaic calathea and the other feather leaf calathea and here is all of the dead foliage <laughs> it was quite a lot now i'm gonna go in possibly i don't know if i should clean it because i'm not really going to be deep cleaning the entire plant room it's gonna pick up some debris that i see there in a little packet that I, is from the grill lights but um and place them back where they belong well check if they need any soil and i think they're all perfectly fine i'm gonna go and use my moisture meter just to double check and then after that i'm gonna go and see what else i can do 
Alrighty, there you go. These Trastar Stromagics are honestly so beautiful and here's some of the Brazil, which is <laughs> pretty cool. I love the air roots. And this one like on the back of its sleeves is like purple. It's funny because I just finished vacuuming the plant room and it's a mess. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and look around and see how everything is doing. This has to be one of my favorite leaf. These Arizona cuttings are doing so good. The Golden Goddess Philodendrons are not looking so good, neither are the prior plants, but I'm gonna just keep on checking on them and not give up until they just rot completely if that's the case. The Arizona eyes are doing really, really good. And I know that this Nanduk Tretiscantia is gonna really benefit from this Gura Light. And above, we have these other ones. This was propagated with my by my philodendron mycans by nodes and like i said in that video i was going to propagate some and here they are i didn't count how many but i'm guessing there's like 10 cuttings in there also i just finished um dividing the aloe veras from the mother plant so there was a lot of pups on the side and they're outside right now because I don't know, like whenever I'm scared about a plant that's not going to do so well, I always leave it outside because I feel like it'll do a lot better. And look at this. <laughs> These are so good. This one needs a little bit of water. It's one of those plants that are okay with drying out. This part plant needs a good pruning. But it is putting out a lot of leaves. All this light green that you're seeing like from the leaves it's all fresh growth and i haven't said it yet but oh this is one of its newest leaves last week and then here's another one which looks a lot bigger i'm so proud like i was saying you guys i don't know i'm like really not satisfied with the plant room like i love the way this looks but i just feel so bad because I want all of these plants to get like optimal light, very bright and direct light so they can do so good and just be happy. And I feel like placing these lemon amarantas and these shelves are getting them a little bit sad. This is because I haven't been using my humidifier anymore. Um, it could be that or, um, when was it? It was last, no, two weeks ago, I ended up rinsing it in the tub with tap water. So I don't know if it didn't like it. It was with cold water, <laughs> like really cold water, um, which I really, really regret. I should have like, you know, use warm slash cold water. Instead of using cold water, I should have just used warm water, not hot water, but warm. But I really don't know what this is from. I haven't seen no pest, so I know it's not that. But yeah, like, I don't know, like, seeing these leaves on the back makes me a little bit sad because it's really, really dark for them. And Marantas are known for, like, you know, like, not being so fussy with light. Like, they do okay in low light, you know, environments. But they were, it would do so much better if you got a little bit more light. I don't know, I just feel really, really bad for these plants. I really wish I can give them more light. Because it feels like they're in a cave and that makes me sad this girl's doing so good which was from a cutting and the rams are doing pretty good as well they just put out new leaves and let me see where it is the bromeliads i just finished watering them the golden potos this ivy is gorgeous. The mantra is doing pretty good as well. A string of hearts. Manji Lupotos. It's really pretty Tritiscantiae. The Peace Lily. Putting out some really pretty flowers. This is such a pretty leaf. And my Diffenbachia. I'm really surprised that it hasn't died <laughs> or turned any yellow leaves. I did notice that it's like 
getting really wide because the leaves used to be like this and now they're going all the way like this so I think it's enjoying it these windows this is so pretty I love how this looks very beautiful it's a really beautiful bird's nest fern and this philodendron is finally like you know putting out new leaves it's been a hot minute and it is very small i'm not so sure what is going on with it i'm hoping for the best hey when was it i think it was like eight months ago it did have some pest issues i think it was what was it it was like those white bugs that like have fur not fur they have like hairs melly bugs but yeah since treating it it just hasn't done nothing until now I mean, a nook is getting really big. I think it's really enjoying these south facing windows. Kitty. <laughs> and then this potos, which I just finished repotting a while back. I believe it's a marble queen potos. And then the monstera delicioso. Oh, and the piece of that's pretty much it, you guys, on what is going on. Those are the sheets that I need to go and wash right now. Um, also, I just finished pulling out some plants that were propagating in this wall because it was time to pot them up. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!